Hey mamas, it's Tori from Mommy Bar and I'm here today to share some exercises that you can do if you're having some back pain during pregnancy, no matter what trimester you're in. I currently am 24 weeks pregnant, so in the second trimester, and my back has been hurting more recently with um, SI joint issues, as well as that's causing some hip pain. So these are some exercises I wanted to share with you that you can do to help strengthen the muscles that help um, support your pelvic girdle and support your back and your core. All right, let's get started. So we are going to start um, on our hands and knees. Finding that nice neutral spine position. And we're just going to take some inhales here. And when we inhale, I want you to curve that spine down, pulling that belly button up to your spine, feeling baby very supported. And then you're going to inhale to a nice curve in that spine and let things hang there. Exhale, pull that belly button in, get that nice curve. And inhale, so some cat-cow here. This is also just to warm up that spine, rolling through it. And do this at how, whatever pace that feels comfortable for you. Already that's making my spine feel better because it's warming it and rolling through. And it's stretching. And up here, when you curve here, you can experiment with doing a little stretch, pulling back, or just keeping your uh, shoulders over your arms. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to get into that nice neutral spine position where you're ba supporting baby, keeping that belly button pulled in. You're pressing the floor away from you, and we're going to do some tail wags, kind of like we're a dog or a cat wagging our tail. We're going to pull one hip to one side, kind of like sticking it out, and to the other side, almost like you're trying to get your shoulder and your hip on the right side to meet, and then your shoulder and your hip on the left side to meet. And we'll do four more, three more two more and last one good and if at any time this hurts your wrists feel free to push into your fists or just take a break and, s and just sit back for a minute all right next what we're going to do is what helps support our um, hips pelvic girdle si joint everything is our glutes so we are going to start just raising one leg to the back and bringing that down. And we're going to alternate. You want that belly button to stay nice and supported. Feeling like your ribs are engaged. Belly's pulled up towards your spine. And one more on each leg here. Now we are going to add in our opposite arm and leg. So I'm going to take my right leg back and my left arm. This is a really good inner core, your transverse abdominal exercise as well. And remember to breathe throughout this, trying to keep that spine nice and neutral, not having too much of an arc in it. One more on each side here. All right, now we're going to build on that. We're going to take our right leg back, left arm out. We're going to tap down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten good you're gonna switch legs and arms and we're gonna tap down for ten nine eight seven six 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one here. Good. Now we're just going to do a couple more things with our legs for our glutes. We're going to do a little heel kick up to the ceiling and down. We're going to do 10 of these. Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, we're gonna switch legs. And remember, if this is too hard on your wrists, you can put your fists down. I want you to be pressing the floor or mat away from you and keeping that spine nice and neutral. We're gonna pulse up and down here, keeping that belly button engaged. So your core, and even feeling like that pelvic floor is engaged as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, from here you can just spread your knees out to the side and sit back over your heels. And depending on how far along you are, how big um, baby is, you might not be able to fit your belly down to stretch. So you might need to put like a ball or a pillow in front of you and just stretch over that. We're just gonna take a nice child's pose stretch here. Slowly roll yourself up through your spine. All right, we're gonna roll down onto our side. And just like you wanna do getting in and out of bed, you want to sit to your side and roll down slowly. And we're gonna flip over onto our back. And we're just gonna do a few bridges because these are really great for engaging that core, pelvic floor, and glutes all together at once. Your feet are gonna be parallel. You're gonna take a nice inhale. You're gonna exhale, lift those hips up to the ceiling. And depending on how far along you are, this might be a little bit uncomfortable. So you don't have to take your hips all the way up. As long as you're just engaging and lifting like an inch or two off of the floor, that is still making those glutes fire and activate, and you're still strengthening them. But if you can, I love to have you lift your hips up as high as you can, and then as you're rolling down, feel one vertebrae at a time going back down to the, the floor or the mat. Lifting up, lowering down one vertebrae at a time. That feels really good on my spine. This also helps relieve any, if you're feeling a lot of pressure on your pelvic floor like bladder, this can help take the weight off just for a little bit. Good, we're gonna do two more here. And last one. All right, and the same way we got down, you're gonna roll to your side, press your way up. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed and learned some new exercises that you can do to help um, strengthen your muscles and relieve any back pain that you're having during any trimester of pregnancy. If you are interested in just some stretches, make sure you head over here to one of our videos that are just purely stretches to relieve back pain during pregnancy. All right, I hope you subscribe to our channel so you can get all of our updates for videos, quick tips, and uh, things about pregnancy and postpartum. And if you're interested in our one-on-one -on -one sessions or classes, make sure you head to the website listed at the end of the video. All right, I will see you next time, Mama.